Hi, I'm Adam from DoodleAdrama.com and today I'm going to show you how to add the opacity animation preset in After Effects to your text. Um, over the next few blogs I'm going to be showing you how to do to use the animation presets that come in After Effects just to add some nice little touches to your text. I'm going to use the project file that I did yesterday when I showed you the gradient ramp tutorial. I'm just going to go into the text composition and I've got the text selected. Um, down on here on the timeline you can see the text layer here if you just hit the little drop down arrow to the side it will open up the different components and you will see the animate button if you just click the little arrow it will open up the animation preset menu and if you we're going to be using opacity today so we hit the opacity one and it will create animator one which is an animation function which has the range selector and the opacity in it if you open up the range selector you can see the different controls here for the opacity Set the opacity to 0%, you can see it fading out there. You can play with these different um, controls and you can see obviously what they do. And let's start there in the end. Today we're going to be using the offset value, which is quite a nice little function. We started at 0%, and then we want to animate this, so we hit the stopwatch which will set a keyframe at the start of the composition and then if we go to the end of the composition this composition is only five seconds long so it's about perfect for this demonstration but you may wish to move it you can put it wherever you desire and then we want to change the offset and as you can see the um, text becomes visible and it sets another keyframe at the end of the composition here now if you just preview that you can see the text becomes visible from left to right and it's just it's all pre-animated from the keyframes and there you have it you can move this end keyframe closer or further away if you want to make this animation faster or shorter and because it's all in this composition when you add it into the main composition it will all you won't have to worry about accidentally editing any of the controls I'm Adam from DoodleNoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to add an opacity animation to your text in After Effects